Hello great people, welcome back to mindyourfinance.com and my name is Felix and my mission is to share with you, is to help you plan, build, grow and accumulate your wealth. What comes to your mind when you hear the word mortgage? Share with us in the comment section and that marks today's topic. I want us to talk about mortgage. What is a mortgage? Mortgage basically is a loan. It's a loan offered specifically to home owners, those who are looking, those who are interested in owning a home, yet they're not uh, in a position to buy the home they want or to build the home they want to build. They don't have enough money to build the home they desire. So it's just a, it's a loan financial institutions offer to these people who are interested in owning a home but can't afford to, to buy or to build at once. So it is a, a product which will enable you achieve that dream irrespective of your net income. So what, <coughs> what what types of uh, mortgage do we have? And before I go to the types, I would like to note that uh, mortgage, uh, mortgage, most financial institutions, when they are giving you a mortgage, you'll be required, most majority of the institutions will require you to, to at least uh, pay your deposit like 20% of the, 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 the price, the, the, the cost of the property then they'll take care of the rest. And again, I would like to note that uh, when it comes to mortgage, unlike any other loans offered by financial institutions, this loan, the, 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 the property you're buying or you're purchasing or you're building acts as a, as a security or collateral. So it is the, is the, is the property you're buying which will act as a collateral. And again, m m mortgage is uh, modeled in a way that uh, it divides the, the property into debt and equity. So if you pay like 20% of the cost, then the 20% you, you'll own the property, 20% of the property, then the rest 80% will be debt. So the 20% will be the equity, then the rest will be debt. And any time you make any payment, you, the payment will act as, will increase your, your equity. So the day you are done paying, the day we are do, you are done with the, your amortization period, then you will own property 100%. So let me share the types of uh, mortgage loans we have in, in Kenya. Number one, mortgage we have is is called uh, owner resident owner occupied residential mortgage owner occupied residential mortgage this mortgage is purely is given to individuals who wants to live in the property they purchase using the mortgage so if you're an individual who wants to you want to live in the property you want to live in the house or a home you're using the mortgage to buy or to purchase then you'll go for a product called owner occupied residential mortgage and uh, <coughs> so many people so many people we have people who don't who just hate paying rent so if you're an individual who don't like paying rent and uh, you don't like paying rent and you feel like you want you need a place where you can live but whatever amount you pay is going towards owning that place or making that place yours then this product will suit you best and uh, the next one is called investment residential mortgage this is purely for people who you want to acquire a home 
or a, a, a residential place but it is not it is not going to be your primary place of residence you want to, you are acquiring purely for as an in, for investment so maybe there's a flat somewhere you want to buy the flat not to live there but to allow other people to live there then you collect rent so if you're that person who is looking into just getting buying a property or a home or a, a flat with interest of uh, making it uh, your investment then you'll go for a product which they call investment residential mortgage that one will suit you best now the third <coughs> the third type of mortgage is called uh, construction mortgage or construction loan and this one this one suits only those who want to build from ground you've never built before but you have a land which is yours so the requirement is that you need you must have a land so if you have a land then you want to build the land but you don't have the money so in that case you'll approach the institution or the bank they'll give you a mortgage to construct the building or to construct a home so when it comes to this mortgage there's only one restriction this money you'll never be given this money direct but this money is channeled through the contractor so you will just do the due diligence you'll plan with your contractor you draw the house just to do the plan then when it comes to now the payment the bank will the bank or the financial institution will channel this money direct to your contractor or a professional in charge of that site so you the money will never come to you but your house will be built and everything it will be just done completely but you will not touch or receive the money it will be directed to the investors the the, the contractor sorry so this if you are somebody you have a land somewhere and maybe you've been saving for a very long time to to buy this land and now you have the land so you start thinking you what you start wondering that i really need to build a home maybe the home you want to build will cost you like 10 million and according to your net income for you to save for that home it will take you like 10 years from now so you may decide that instead of waiting for 10 years to instead of waiting waiting for 10 years to build my home i can liaise with i can go look for a, a bank or an institution which can give me a mortgage to build this my home today then i start living in my place as i pay back the mortgage so if you're that person then this mortgage or this product suits you best then the fourth the fourth product is what we call top up loan or equity loan so this this product is purely for those who are looking to you want to top up you have a property maybe you had acquired some mortgage and you've paid a part of it but then you need some more money maybe to do other things or maybe to to beautify your house or to do just your own things you can use the property which you acquired and maybe you've not finished paying to get a top up loan so this top up loan unlike the first three it's not restricted you can use it to do any other thing but now the property the part of uh, the equity part of the property will act as a security so for top up loan or equity loan is uh, is purely for it's given to those who uh, you've you've paid part of for example if you had a mortgage so you've paid part of the mortgage maybe to say let's say 50 percent then you need money so you you'll go to the institution then they'll uh, they'll give you what is called a top-up loan so this top-up loan you can use it to do any other thing but now it is still pegged on the property which you already have so those are the types of mortgage mortgage loans we have in this country in Kenya
And now, now that we've understood and now we understand what mortgage is, what types of mortgages, mortgages we do have, now I want us to I want to go, I want to talk about now the requirements or the checklist, the requirements for you to get a mortgage. And before I talk about the requirements, I would like to mention that uh, the greatest advantage of mortgage is that uh, it, mortgage is uh, modeled in a way that uh, it gives you easy, it's a, actually it's the easiest way of uh, owning a home or a property irrespective of your net income. So if you're somebody who cannot just get 10 million to buy a property today, then mortgage will give will make it easier for you to just own that home, then you pay slowly. And unlike rent, when you're paying rent today, you you can even pay rent for 100 years, but then you'll not own anything. When it comes to mortgage, Anytime you make payment, the payment goes towards now purchasing, buying you more equity. So that is the biggest advantage unlike rent which you're just paying, it's like you're throwing your money away because you'll never own anything. Mortgage now you're paying towards owning your own home. So the requirements for you to get, if you want to get a mortgage today, what the institutions will require from you is uh, number one requirement or uh, in the checklist the first thing they'll require is it's basic they'll want um, a signed mortgage application form so you'll get a form from the institutions you've identified then you sign the form the mortgage application form so that is the first requirement then after signing the form then you'll be required to they'll require your origi original copies of your identification documents so that one can be your id or your passport then if you provide that then the, the next thing they'll require is if you're employed, they'll require you to produce or to take to them um, introduction letter from your employer. So you go to your employer, they write for you a letter confirming that you're an employee of that firm. So that letter is needed. Then after taking the letter, the introduction letter from your employer, another thing they'll want is my, many many institutions will require you to have um, three months pay slip. They require you to attach three months pay slip. So after introduction letter, you attach three months pay slip. Then after attaching that or after getting, if you can access that, then the next thing which will be required from you is certified uh, bank statements. And it's for at least six months. So you go to your bank and they give you a statement which is certified. And in many cases it's uh, for at least six months. So if you can access that, then now finally we we'll love what is called letter of offer or a lease agreement or a sales agreement. So those those are the six six requirements but they do vary from one institution to the other so i was uh, during my research i just wanted to bring the the most common ones the standard ones but now you it's upon you to visit the institution you've identified and now agree with them they'll give you their own checklist so basically that is what i wanted us to share today to uh, to, 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 to unpackage now what mortgage is and uh, in case there's something I've not tackled because of time you can just ask in the comment section and uh, I'll be glad to answer that so if in future we I'll talk about is mortgage a good thing today I just wanted you to understand mortgage then you weigh the options 
should you buy should you build should you take a mortgage is it expensive is it cheap so those are talks which people have people do have different reasonings but today i just wanted you to understand what is a mortgage now then what what types of mortgage do we have and what is the requirement or what are the qualifications for you to get a mortgage so thank you so much for thank you so much for listening thank you so much for just paying attention hope this is helpful till next time bye